friends and comrades i am here again to talk to you today i would like to share my frustration and despair at the political parties in our country the defection and redefection into political parties across the ideological spectrum if there is one is really undermining our democracy and upending the political parties as one of the major institutions of our democracy a political party today becomes government tomorrow so if the party is run without any ideology it might slip into opportunism and populism and that is what we witness in the current political scenario the prime minister arguably represents a party with an ideology and the party also claimed when it was formed in its initial days that it is a party with a difference but in competitive electoral politics the party run by honorable prime minister narendra modi is taking anyone from any party into its fold to win elections that is disappointing recently two young people jumped seat one hardik patel from gujarat he joined bjp from congress another kanheer kumar a communist by training hailing from quite ideologically vibrant campus or jawaharlal nehru university he jumped seat and joined congress party congress politicos are jumping into the bad wagon of bjp jyoti raditya sindhya is one of the latest example there are many even the communists in west bengal are jumping into bjp which is far away ideologically from them that is what they claim so why is it happening why there is utter disregard to any ideology in our politics a foreign dignitary once spoke to our former prime minister and asked him have you studied any ideology and one of our former prime minister said no i haven't so this is absolutely surprising and shocking in a democracy what is a political party and what is ideology to a political party a political party is a group of people sharing a common political platform which you call ideology a set of political principles which constitute a vision of a country that they wish to make so if you do not have an ideology consciously profess an ideology then you will be the party will be dubbed with a default ideology which is even more dangerous for instance if you look at bjp the image that props up is that it's a hindu party samajwadi party in uttar pradesh called a party of yadavs you look at the dravidian party the dmk and admk the party of dravidas or telugu desam party the political party of telugu likewise these are default perceptions of political party that should be correct there are ideologies prevailing across the world conservative socialist liberal centrist green left and now the latest is called progress do we have to define ourselves by an ideology certainly yes because if we are building a country politically economically in all its dimensions what kind of vision what kind of political social framework we should have that is explained by my ideology if it is a socialist ideology we would expect greater equality deeper solidarity more distribution of resources and if it is a left ideology then of course abolition of capitalism creating a classless society if it is a conservative ideology holding on to the heritage of a society of politics and through dynamic conservation of those heritages building a new society i remember daniel bell 
in his famous book talking of end of end of ideology, which meant that the existing ideological frameworks have not delivered. Perhaps that is how we have reached the end of ideology. But not yet. There are ideologies across the world. And interestingly, India is yet to begin to be driven by ideology. So my problem, which I would like to put it to you, is that why don't we adhere to an ideology? Which people think when the country is beset with a myriad of problems, poverty, backwardness, starvation, violence, it is important to address those issues, then perhaps indulge in the luxuries of ideology. But that's not correct. We cannot solve these problems without political principles. We'll have to put the principles before the people and we have to put the issues before the individuals. A lack of ideology, a set of political principles are causing these problems in the first place. Winning the election is another thing, but delivery for the people is more important. We might win the elections, but we won't be able to build a healthy, harmonious and a vibrant society. So the importance of ideology cannot be undermined. Whatever may be the excuses for not having an ideology, the absence of political principles does not augur well for politics anywhere in the world. One can ignore the organizing principles of a political party. Many of them are family-based, dynastic, and run by cabals like communist and BJP. Fair enough, as long as these leaders are getting elected by the people, they have some legitimacy. However, they run their party. Social mobilization, political organization takes different forms in keeping with the culture or reflecting the culture of the country. One could live with that, but an ideology that defines a society, that gives a blueprint for a society, if that is missing, then we are in for trouble, which is opportunism, self-serving politics, and populism. And that is what is galore today in our political discourse. So I would urge the political leaders to adhere, profess, and practice an ideology, and the people, the voters, to respect ideology, imbibed by the leaders. If people, without any regard to ideology, are differing from one party to another, because a party is defined by the ideology, then such turncoats, such defectors, should be punished. If the young ones were infused with idealism and coming into politics, now seem to constitute a bunch of Bukhanese, self-serving opportunist leaders. That's really a very sad spectacle of our democracy. Let us stand up for values, principles, and good practices in politics. Things will change, but it has to be done. It has to really start from the voters. If we cannot change the leaders, we can change ourselves, our mindsets, so that leaders are differential to their voters. They will not take them for granted and they will not do things which the voters will not approve. So it's called for having good politics based on sound principles. Thank you.